All right, now to talk about graphing and writing equations of hyperbolas. A hyperbola equation, if you look down here, kind of looks like an ellipse equation. It's still set equal to 1. The big difference meaning being it's subtracted. And that is because now it's the set of all points in a plane. So that the differ difference, if you subtract the distance to the one focus from the distance to the other focus, that's what remains constant. We still have focal radii, but now we have sort of an inside-out um, inside hyperbola, or inside-out ellipse. And we're going to have asymptotes, and we're going to start off with an example, just because it's a lot easier. This is a hyperbola that's centered around 0, 0, because there's no h and k in there. This tells you that you go 5 left and right. So there's still an a squared value like we were dealing with before. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So we're going to put dots there. Those are going to be our vertices. And our 6 is telling us to go up and down 6. And so I'm making a box because hyperbolas have asymptotes to, and it helps to graph the box in order to graph the asymptotes which go through the corners of the box. And so notice the box just is as wide as the 5 and the 5 and as tall as the 6 and the 6. And then I'm drawing it diagonals and just extending them. If it's x squared minus y squared, our hyperbola is going to open left to right and it's going to look like this. And that's what our hyperbola looks like. Use your asymptotes to your advantage. It's going to have two foci out here and here and that's going to be related by that c squared equation except now it's going to be a squared plus b squared because it's going to be further out. So 25 plus 36 is 50, 61, and C is about um, whatever the square root of 61 is, 7.8 approximately. And so we're going to go out 5, 6, 7, 0.8, and that's the focus. And so this is what we call a vertex. And a vertex, together, they are vertices. These points aren't really anything. Simply to draw the box. We had co-vertices with ellipses, but now we're just going to have points that help us draw the box. Uh, we're going to have this vertex is 5, 0. This vertex is negative 5, 0. This is square root of 61, comma, 0, negative square root of 61, comma, 0. And our asymptotes are going to have a slope that's re very much related to the box. Remember how slope is rise over run, and so we went up 6 and over 5. Up 6 over 5, so our slope is the y over the x. 6 over 5. So we could write our equation y equals, I'm going to say plus or minus 6 fifths x because it goes up 6 and over 5 or down 6 and over 5 depending on which one you use. And that is essentially what a hyperbola is. Now hyperbolas can open up two different ways depending on how the equation goes. And so this is a more complicated equation because it's got the h and k in it. But notice if the x squared is first, it's going to be like this. And we're going to make our box. And 
and this value is your A, this value is your B, and then some value C goes out to the focus and sorry some value C goes out to the focus that's the vertex we don't call that anything and everything's relative to whatever the center is just like the circle just like the ellipse the center is going to be HK we talked about in that first example asymptote is going to be B over A because it's the y value over the x value, rise over run, take the square root of each. And it's actually probably going to be easier to write it in point slope form, which would be y minus y1 times your slope x minus x1. It's point slope form, or in our case it'll be y minus k, the center, plus our b over our a, x minus x1. And that way you don't have to find the y-intercept in both cases and it's just a lot faster. So feel free to utilize point slope form because it's a lot easier if you need to write the equations where it's not centered at the origin. Um, with ellipses, ellipses it was whatever number was bigger determined if it was wider or taller. With hyperbolas, notice the first equation is x squared opens left to right second equation is y squared and so it's kind of like our parabolas but exactly opposite so don't think about that um, so if it's a y squared it's going to open up and down um, I'm going to draw our rectangle you draw the rectangle the same way except in this case a is underneath the y so a is going to determine how far up and down we go because it's underneath the y number underneath the y up and down underneath the x left and right we have asymptotes again so we draw our box draw our asymptotes um, and now these are our vertices vertex vertex and now we open up and down And we have a focus out here someplace because now it's opening up and down. So remember how it was defined as any point on this. The distance to the one focus minus the distance to the other one. And you always do the long one minus the short one. That's the distance that remains the same. Uh, if you subtract them where with ellipses it was adding them and so if you take this point right here and you take the distance to the one focus and the distance to the other focus if you subtract this minus this you're going to end up this part and this part get subtracted from each other and so you end up with just A and A and so notice down here that I've written the difference of the focal radii is 2A because it cuts off that common piece